You know that last fly I threw, I've thrown that fly, I don't know how many times here. I've always caught fish with it. And those guys, as soon as they saw that, they just took off. What happened? How the fuck do I know? <laughs> <laughs> but I think that brings up a really great question is, you know, when you've got, when you've got a, a client on the boat and they come down to black fly, how do they know what flies to bring to maximize their opportunity to catch fish? You know, Clint's out here every day and whenever he comes with a new fly, I steal it as often as I can. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, what do you put in those things? We, for a long time, we were putting in that uh, crystal flash. I mean, what makes a bonefish fly work? But is it a crab fly? Is it a shrimp fly? Is it a, is it a minnow pattern? Yeah. What? I think in general, in the Bahamas, the fly patterns are, tend to be a lot more sparse than they do in the Florida Keys. Uh -huh. And um, because everything here is smaller. Uh, and everything is more sparse. So when I tie my flies, they're they're very very simple, and um, <clears throat> and I think that's that's a major principle in fly tying for the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't need to be smaller flies. That's I think a lot of people get that mistaken information that when you come to the Bahamas, bring sixes. Right. That's and eights even. Yeah, don't yeah. don't bring those to Abaco. Yeah. I mean we tie we tie on fours, and that's usually what that, that's always what I use. Right. And they'll even eat one. So uh, I don't think, I think it's a bigger fly, but it's sparser. So the, the, the UV crystal flash is a very important material because it, it simulates uh, what all these little cleaner shrimp and everything, mm -hmm. in the, everything in the, that's on the bottom has some sort of purple in it. They light up when they it, get they, they light up, exactly. And I think uh, a lot of times, contrary to these flies that are used for long strips like clousers, right. you know, I tend to call shorter strips, so you want you want something that when it's when it doesn't when it's not moving it, it's still undulating. Right. You know, rabbit or or uh, you know crystal flash tails things like that. What about that. legs? What about rubber legs? Rubber legs are great. Yeah, I always use them. I use them for buoyancy on the, on the light flies mm -hmm. and time on top. But yeah, more any fly is better with the rubber legs for sure. It makes it hit the water a lot softer too. I yeah. think if you're in like water, this is a foot. Sometimes not even that. And if you throw. You know, obviously you want to, the sink rate is important, and that's why the sparsely tied flies work, because they sink well. Uh, I think the, the, the consensus is that a bonefish fly should hit the bottom in two to three seconds. So. Yeah, and, and, and a personal preference of mine is black hooks, because I think, again, almost everything we're tying has a vein in it. Uh -huh. It's a right. shrimp, or, yeah. or particularly like right. a shrimp. And that black hook, I think, it, the fish are used to seeing that, that in, a, digestive in, a, track, right? in a juvenile yeah. shrimp or those clear shrimp, that sort of thing. So I've, I've almost tie exclusively on black hooks now. What about, uh, uh, we were permit fishing this morning. I mean, I've used merkins and, you know, just about everything. Uh, I know bonefish a lot of times will eat a crab fly. I mean, they're certainly capable of it. Their mouth is big enough to do that. Uh, We've been trying a lot of different things. I have my favorites, you have yours. Uh, what are you tying right now? Well, the, yeah, I mean, the, the thing that we found that, that has been the most effective fly uh, is that uh, Perez Velcro crab. Right, yeah. And that seems to have changed the game for everybody in the Florida Keys as well as the Bahamas. For instance, like the Avalon fly. Mm -hmm. um, we, that's the one from Cuba. Yeah, the Cuban yeah. fly that's very, very effective there. We've thrown, we've thrown that for the last year and never gotten a hookup. And I think the reason is we don't have the kind of mantis shrimp they have there. Right. That is a big mantis shrimp fly. Mm -hmm. And we've thrown it in every condition. And we've caught bonefish on it, funny yeah. enough. Big bonefish. Right. But the, uh, the permit here just don't, I don't, they just don't yeah. seem to know it, understand it. But the, everything from the, the Perez crab and then we're, we're moving into more like snow crab, these, Right. Bigger white crab. Fluffy things. Yeah, they are, bulky. They're yeah. eating those like crazy. Huh. So, yeah, it, 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 I think it's very much about the kind of food that the, the permit are eating. Yeah, obviously. And I'm, I'm experimenting with some new flies right now that I can't even discuss right now. They're so it's secret. It's a secret. Yeah. Well, that, that's that brings. You know, me I have a camera. I, I, I know. <laughs> that I, brings I, me I to a point. In, in private, that, in the bathroom. <laughs> that brings me to a point as a, as a relatively new fly angler is how do you know when you're fishing something to switch it up? 
I mean, is it something that you need to just rely on your guide to do, or is it something that is, is an inside feeling or re fish reaction? How do you know and how long do you give a specific fly? How many rejections do you give before you switch it up? I, I give a fly a couple of shots, you know, because you never know what happens. It could hit grass yeah, or, or whatever, but I mean, uh, it's a... Uh, but, but usually you can tell pretty quick if fish are just not interested in it. If they come and they, they run into it and they turn away from it, uh, you know, they change it. And, and everybody says, you know, bonefish will eat anything, but that's not true. I've seen them get very trouty. And, uh, you know, you, yeah. you, have, you have to change. But um, sometimes they, they want something a little bit more crabby, sometimes more shrimpy, depending on the tide. In, in the Keys, when I was guiding, I used to snorkel the flats around there. There were crabby flats yeah. and there were shrimpy flats, you yeah. know. And uh, unless you get down in the water to find out, especially there, I don't know about here because I haven't done it, but, but, uh, but I know that uh, that last one, last group of fish that I threw at, uh, they all, uh, every fish in there ran over to look at it and then turned around and ran. So that was yeah. an obvious time to change flies. Yeah, yeah, for some reason, they, they just didn't, that, that fly, they, they just totally rejected it. And they were all feeding and they were all aggressive on the fly, but. Somebody told somebody that wasn't the right, that wasn't the right fly. Something wasn't right, right? Yeah. Mark, you see all this tail fish in front of you down there? Yeah. Holy oh.